Welcome back to the discussion portion of 1984. We are in chapter 1, paragraph 5, and we have some new vocabulary words. We have to babble, to overfulfill, which will give us an opportunity to talk about the prefix over, the verb to whisper, getting picked up, to overhear, and to scrutinize. Let's start with the word babble. In the beginning of paragraph 5, it says, Behind Winston's back, the voice from the telescreen was still babbling away about pig, pig iron and the overfulfillment of the ninth three-year plan. The word babble means to be talking but not making any sense. So sometimes you could use that when you don't understand what somebody is talking about and it just sounds like noise. Or in this case, the telescreen is talking in the background, but Winston isn't paying attention. He's not listening, so it's just noise to him. That's why uh, it says that the telescreen was babbling away about pig iron. He heard that one word, maybe, or maybe a few words, but that's it. He, he didn't hear the rest. He wasn't paying attention. It was just noise. The next word that we have is the word fulfill. And the word fulfill means to make something complete. So uh, you hear that word a lot with things like promise. Fulfill a promise means complete a promise, make the promise happen. Now many times if you put the word over in front of a word, it means too much. And now I'm saying many times because actually later on in this video, we're going to have another word with, the, with uh, over in front of it, and it won't mean that. But most of the time, when you see the word over, it means too much. So to overfulfill means to, to complete something too much. So if you promise to produce uh, 10 videos and you produce 20, you have overfulfilled your promise by, by 10. You've done too much. Still at the very top of the paragraph, it says that the telescreen received and transmitted simultaneously any sound that Winston made above the level of a very low whisper. Okay, a whisper is when you talk very softly like when you're telling a secret or when you don't want other people to hear you. It says that any sound that Winston made above the level of a very low whisper would be picked up by the telescreen. Now you're probably familiar with pick up, meaning pick up groceries, pick up your friend at the airport, but the, usually phrasal verbs can have several meanings and we use pick up to talk about receiving signals. So uh, a microphone picks up audio signals and a camera, a video camera picks up moving things. So that's how they're using pick up here. Did you ever have the experience where maybe you're sitting at a very crowded restaurant or you're walking down the street and by accident you hear somebody else's conversation. Maybe it's a very interesting conversation so you start listening a little bit more closely but in the beginning it was an accident. You weren't you weren't trying to hear what they were saying it just accidentally happened. This is what overhear means. It says at the very bottom of the paragraph that you have to assume that every sound you make is overheard. And what that means is you have to think that it doesn't matter how quiet you're being, they are listening to everything, they are recording everything. They may not be paying attention to everything, but they're, they're, they're keeping records. Of. The word to scrutinize means to look at something very closely and or to examine something very closely. Down at the bottom of the paragraph it says in the assumption that every sound you made was over here was overheard and except in darkness every movement scrutinized. That means 
every movement looked at very closely. They wanted to see what you were doing and then they would examine it and say, why is he doing that? Well, that is all for paragraph five of chapter one. And so far, Winston has entered his apartment building, gone up the stairs, entered his apartment, and he's hiding from this telescreen, this screen attached to the wall that sends information constantly and also receives information constantly. Kind of amazing that 70 years ago he thought about this, and here we are today living it. Okay. Well, as usual, please go back and listen to that paragraph a couple more times. Try to make sense of those words in the context of the paragraph. Uh, the more you do that, I think the more you'll understand and the more you'll remember these new vocabulary words. There are a lot of them, a lot of vocabulary words, okay? And again, if you, if you find this useful and if you, if you like this video, then please check the like button. That would help me so much. And uh, let me know that you like this and you want more by subscribing. And I will see you again in Chapter 1, Paragraph 6.